It was October 2003, 20 years ago. The inaugural concert held in this magical building. My name is Maristella Casciato. I am senior curator and head of architectural collection at the Getty Research Institute. We have asked architect Frank Gehry and conductor and composer Esa Pekka Salonen commemorate that important milestone and personally, very personally, bring back great memories. in the concert hall, in the hall, the two of you met long before the opening of this hall, and then you start really working on what is also the, the speciality and the acoustics of this place. I guess that's very important. Well, we were lucky also in the sense of that we had the best acoustician on the planet, Yasu Toyota. I had seen a few concert hall projects that didn't work out because of the architect's uh, lack of interest towards um, ac the acoustics and so on. But, but Frank, it was so clear to him, he wanted to build the best possible room for music in LA. And he did, by the way. But uh... <laughs> One of the most important things for the architect working on a space like this is to understand the connection that the building, that the architecture, the way everything is done, creates the relationship between audience and performer. And that, that's number one important value that you have to bring, bring to the table, I think. Just before it opened, about three months before, I in construction. The stage wasn't here. So I called EP and said, I have a hunch about this. He came to the construction site with the first violinist, with his violin. I came with my son and we went and sat way up there. And there was a few blocks here that, the, the, uh, that Martin could stand on to play the violin. And he started playing uh, Bach. You can yes, the prelude to the E major partita. Those were the first musical notes we heard in this space ever. It was a hard hat area, so he, was, he had a, a yellow hat on, a helmet. Anyway, it sounded great, and we both started crying. <laughs> that was a real opening. I mean, like, okay, then the the official opening happened a few months later and the festival and this and that, but for, for Frank and myself, it, that was the real opening, the first musical notes in this space, and then it just sounded wonderful. The critic who hated everybody here uh, gave us a good review. <laughs> I remember the first concert, three of us were sitting in there, right in the front row, and the first notes, and I was watching the bass fiddle, who was over there, and about two minutes in, he saw me and he went. <laughs> <laughs> that bass player, he said to me that after the first test with the full orchestra here, he, he was in tears and he said, you know, I've been in this orchestra for 43 years and, and, and for the first time I can hear my sound and, and, and my I play a pizzicato and it rings like a beautiful thing. And, and I thought, okay, we, we are on to something here. The sound is so special. It's magical. It came to my mind <laughs> for Eza Pekka Sharon, and you did wrote some musical works, I mean, in honor of this building and also tribute to Frank Gehry. Is there something that we can say about wing on wing or maybe even fog? I mean, my interpretation of fog is F O G, Frank. Okay. That's the correct spelling. But wing on wing, um, I wrote it for the end of the first season in this hall, and it was premiered in 2004. And um, I wanted to write something that would have to do with 
Frank and his thinking and his process and uh, and it it was kind of tricky because obviously music and and architecture have a lot in common, but still there's no direct translation. And of course, in music we have this timeline, the relentless timeline that we cannot do anything about, i.e. the piece starts and then it ends, and we are kind of prisoners of that. Um, whereas in architecture, the subject inside the space creates their own timeline by movement. And also you can return, you can go back, which in music you can't do. Every moment is, when it happens, it's gone. So, so I, I realized that there's no way to translate Frank's ideas directly into music, but then I thought I would just use some metaphors that are important to him. And we went to a studio and I interviewed him for, a, for an hour and a half uh, and just asked him to, to give me some key uh, metaphors. And um, <laughs> it was an interesting conversation where, and the tape is still somewhere, but um, we ended up swearing a lot and it was like, a, you know, a lot of it was not, cannot be publicly played. But, but I identified a few moments and, uh, and I used Frank's own voice as one of the instruments. He took me to a recording studio for the first piece and we talked, and then he, I said, well, what's going to happen? He said, nobody will recognize your voice or anything, so don't worry. It's just the sounds. Okay. I come to the concert. I'm sitting over there. It starts. Two coloraturas, and all of a sudden I hear myself say, why the fish? <laughs> Well, you, you did say that. <laughs> I said it, but I didn't expect it to be. <laughs> well, sorry, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> the name wing on wing is a sailing term that Frank taught me. Um, it's the moment when the, the foresail and the mainsail are at 180 degrees, just to provide the biggest possible area for tailwind. Uh, so I thought, okay, tailwind, that's something we experienced here, so uh, I decided to call it wing on wing There are other metaphors for water and then, you know, his words and so on. So, um, very frank kind of piece. Um, and then, many years later, I wrote this FOG, F-O-G piece, which is, is a play on that Bach piece we heard in this hall for the first time. Frank, before closing, Tell us something about what is the music that you envision, a space for music now for the new generation. What can you do more than what you have done here? There's a lot of, of options. There's a lot of change going on out there. And, and uh, we designed a hall in Berlin, which is a, a concert hall, small concert hall inside, in a warehouse. And so we were able to build it very inexpensively. And then uh, Toyota Son built a hall in, in Munich out of plywood in a, in a uh, warehouse. Mm -hmm. He built a warehouse and built it for a third the cost. And it's perfect acoustic. So it opens up a new, new possibility of spreading the joy maybe further than just a central one only concert hall. I mean, okay. it opens the door to, to a lot of possibilities. Now, where it goes, who knows, but... I wish to thank uh, Eza Pekka Salonen and Frank Gehry for being with us and for the conversation. Thank you.